Are you interested in learning Feather on the Cly by Passenger? In this full tutorial, we're going to have a look at the picking pattern. We're going to have a look at the chords, and there's also a tab. What I'll do first is I'll give you a little bit of an introduction. So play what's in store for you, and then we'll get into how to play all those things on the guitar. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so what do you do? So first of all, you need your capo in eighth position if you're gonna be playing this along with the tune. However, for this tutorial, I'm gonna be removing the capo because when I'm going to be explaining everything, uh, when it comes to positions, some prefer me to actually call out the actual positions on the guitar, others prefer to have those positions with regards to the capo. And to eliminate that problem, I'm going to remove the capo and then basically I'm going to play everything in first position. So of course everything is going to sound lower than it is as in the tune. However, the great thing is, is that everything else is the same. So we're going to be using the same shapes. We're going to be using the same picking patterns and I can call out uh, the position numbers and they will be the actual position numbers on the guitar. Then once you get to know the song and you're able to play all these things, you just put on the capo and you can play along in uh, the original key. The first thing that we'll go over are the chords. And the chords of the intro are the C chord with your pinky on B5, open G, ring finger on D5, and your pointer finger on A3. The second chord is gonna be D at 11 or D at four. Uh, it's the same shape, but then moved up a whole step. And we still have that open G here, which is the added 11. Then we have E minor. Now you can play your E minor as you normally would with two fingers. However, I just play it with one finger, middle finger on D2. And then the fourth chord is gonna be G, right? And that's ring finger on E3 and D, G and B are open. The parts of the first four bars of the intro go like this. When it comes to the picking pattern, what's good to know is that your thumb is going to be playing either A or D string. Your point of finger is gonna be playing the G and your middle finger is gonna be playing the B. So when we have that C chord, what you're gonna be playing is you're gonna be playing first the A string with your thumb, followed by B, G, middle finger, pointer finger. And then you play D, B, G with thumb, middle finger, pointer finger three times. So you get first the pattern with the A string and then the pattern with the D string three times. So when you combine that, you get this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Now you play that once in the first bar. So one, two, three, four. Then you play it uh, halfway through in the second bar. But then you move to the D chord and you play again this A string to the D string. Picking pattern for the rest is the same. So you get C chord, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we go to the E minor chord. The picking pattern is the same. However, the first note is not now played on the A string, but it's played on the E string. So you get And then instead of at the end playing that G string, you play open A. So you get. And that's sort of to lead you into the next chord, which is the G chord, right? The G chord is then played like this. So what you do is you play thumb plays E string first, and then you get the rest of the pattern on the D string. Three. 
So those first four bars, starting with C, one, two, three, four, Then in the next four bars, you play this. So what you do there is that instead of after the C in the, in the second bar going up to D, you go, instead of that, you go down to B minor at with an add of flat six. So that is with your point of finger in second of A, ring finger is in D4 and middle finger is on B3 and we still have that open G. The picking pattern is the same, however, so that's A, D, 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 like that. So bars five through eight, three, four, A, D, 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 A, All right, so if you can play this, um, you've learned pretty much the whole song, in my opinion. Uh, not that there are no variations, but the most important things are there, So, which are uh, most of the chords and the picking pattern. So if you practice the first eight bars really well, you've got a really good foundation for the rest of the tune. All right, so the next part is gonna be the verse, and the verse starts at 18 seconds into the song. The chords for the verse are a C chord, so a normal C chord, first position C chord, uh, the G, the way we did it in the intro, E minor, C, G, and C over G. So that is basically having your C chord but then moving your ring finger to the E string in third, playing a G there. So that makes it C over G. And another G chord. All right. Starting with a C chord, this is what you do. So in the first four bars, you play your C chord with a normal picking pattern, so A, D, 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 A, D, D, D. You switch to the G chord and you play E, D, 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 E, D, D, D. Then you go to that E minor chord. And then instead of playing an open A, you play an open D that leads you into the C chord. So again. And then you have a full bar of C. And then you go to the G chord and you play that um, for a two beat. So E, D, then you play C over G, E, D, and then you play the G chord full. So verse one goes like this, three, four. E minor, open D, sorry. All right, so then we get verse number two. Uh, I'll play the first four bars. So essentially, you play uh, that first C chord, and then halfway tr through the second bar, you move that whole C chord up a whole step to uh, D at 11. But funny enough, it's a different D at 11 from this one. The thing is, is that 
it's the open G that makes it an at 11 or an at four. So, but the rest is clearly a D chord, right? So you have A, D, 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 A, D, and then on the D at 11, A, D. And then you go to that E minor chord again with the open A towards the G chord. Then you get, uh, in the next four bars, C, D at 11, G, C over G, G. Right? So there, the picking pattern on the C chord is the same. The picking pattern is the same on the D chord. However, you play the C for a full bar, uh, the D at 11, a full bar, and then you have the G to G, C over G, back to G. So that sort of concludes verse number two. Now, as you will notice that I will go increasingly quicker through these parts. Um, if this is going too fast at this point, probably what you should do is make sure that you can really play the parts before, because once you can play them, like really play them, um, Basically, all you need is the tablature, which, by the way, is available on my Patreon page. All right, so now for the chords. I'll play it for you, and then we'll get into how to play that on the guitar. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So what do you do? Um, you start off with a full bar of C. And then we get a little bit of a variation within the G chord. So you start off normally with a G. And the picking pattern continues. However, you add your pinky on B3 and your middle finger on G2, turning this into a D5 chord. And then on that G string, you already let go of the chord, making that G string open. So you get on the G chord, so you got E, B, G, D, B, G. Then you create that D5 chord with pinky on B3 and middle finger on G2, and then you play D, B, G, D, B, and then open G because you're switching back to C. Okay? So those two bars. Right? And then you play that three times, and after those three times, you go back to the G chord. And you play that twice. Then you repeat that section where you go from C to G to D5. And you also play that three times, so like this. So, and then instead of having two bars of G, uh, you get first a bar of G and C over G, so. And then back to G. Then we get the interlude section, and that interlude section goes like this. Now this is basically your intro. However, there are a couple of uh, differences. So the first part is exactly the same as your intro. So the C, C to D, and then we go to E minor. However, we're not going to that low one. We're keeping our pinky and ring finger where they were with the D major chord, or the D at 11 chord. And you play E, B, G, D, B, G. Like that. 
And then you move your pinky up a half step, so your pinky's gonna be an eight now, and you do the same pattern. Right, so. Okay. Then you go back to uh, the C chord. To B minor flat six, and then E minor. which is also exactly the same in the intro, uh, intro, sorry. So after the interlude, we get verse three, verse four. There is not much new in there, or actually there is nothing new in there. Uh, then you get chorus number two. We also covered that. It's exactly the same as chorus number one. And then we get to the bridge. Now the bridge is a little different and we'll have a look at that right now. So I'll play the first two bars of the bridge and then we'll get into how to play them on the guitar. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So you play those first two bars three times, so that turns it into six bars. As you may have noticed, uh, first chord is E minor. So you play E, B, G, D. go to that D5 and you play D, B, G, D, B, and then open G, so I get. Then you go to the C chord, and then you go to the G, so you play E, B, G. Then you get C over G, what you do is you put your pointer finger on B1, middle finger on D2. Play them together with thumb and middle finger. And you make a pull off with your middle finger and then you play the open G with your pointer finger. It's like this. Now you repeat that three times and then you go to the A minor seven chord. So that's basically your A minor chord without the ring finger. And uh, it is followed by your D at 11 chord that uses pinky ring finger and pointer finger, right? So the D at 11 from the intro. So you play that picking pattern. So one, two, three, four, and then to the D at 11. One, two, three, four. And you play the whole bridge again. So the bridge goes like this. One, two, three, four, E minor, D5, C, Uh, then we get verse number five and verse number six. There is nothing new there. So basically that's the whole tune. Um, now what's good to know is that I recorded this tutorial uh, years ago. The first video, which had basically the intro and the verse in there, uh, was hosted at Gareth Evans's channel, but he had a copyright thing going. All the videos were removed, and this one was not reinstated, if that's the right word for it. So, uh, and people were asking for it, so I figured maybe I just do the whole thing. I'm gonna leave the old videos, which are parts number two and three, so in case I forgot anything in this tutorial, it'll be there, so I'll make sure those are linked in the video. But essentially, all you need to know uh, is in this video. If you need the tablature, it's on my Patreon page. Make sure to subscribe, and uh, I hope to see you again sometime. Bye.